everybody, and welcome to the Rocky and Derek Show. Today, our guest is Derek Wynn. Um, he makes mini libraries. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, these mini libraries are stuff I've been doing a long time ago. We also done other stuff using wood, but t right now we're focusing on building these li little libraries. These li little libraries are the things where people can put books inside or take books outside, and I made two of them. One is going to be in, in Hester Park, the other one is going to be in Wiley Davis Road, and we are trying to get one installed today, and these li libraries, we have little kids decorate them, and th we're going to right and after we done installing, we're going to have you decorate the pole. And all, and we've been work, make, making sure that these things are going to be the best, you know, libraries that we can make and in, uh, in, in install. Okay? When was the last time they made it, like painted it? Uh, the last time it was a couple months ago. Like, we, uh, we painted it. We went to different places and paint, painted them. One place was in like a assisted living home because we were trying to work with a organization that do stuff with seniors. And then after we done with the seniors, we went to this event we called the Bulletin Maker Fair where kids can paint it. And we try to start talk to people and have them volunteer for us. And like it, like we've been painting, painting them like a couple months back. So anybody could get a book out of the library? Yes, they can take a book and uh, take a book or, or put a book inside of them, and there'll be a bunch of them all over Hester, all, all over, over Greensboro. How long have you been doing this? At least for three years. I like I say I've done other stuff as well, but these libraries are the things I've been focusing on right now because they're small. They you can move them around easily. They just not. Because in way back a long time ago, like, I would do stuff like make furniture out of wood pallets, and th those things were really interesting. But you weren't able able to. It's hard to move move around, and we've been in the newspapers and stuff. So we done a lot of other stuff like bookcases and you know, let's see tables and stuff. But right now we have been focusing on building like little free libraries. How do you like make the library the boxes? Like someone at the fall showed me they we will try to we get a model of it, and that model we will get the dimensions of it. <coughs> then we will try try to you know get get the wood cut down to the size of the, the dimensions. Then we will combine the wood together using wood glue and with clamps. And then when we get the wood when we combine the wood together, we will then kind of like uh, we will we we'll also use a nail gun and when we use those the nail guns and the wood glue all the wood, wooden pieces will stick together like you would kind of cut it then you'll combine it with wood glue and nail with na nail guns mm. the books can we like if we take one do, do we also have to pay for it if we can't find it no you don't have to do, do that you can all the books are free so you can keep a book Yes, you can keep a book. We, my, I'm gonna get my cousins to help get some books inside the library. So, yeah. Oh, what inspired you to start doing this? Yeah, I was doing it for a long time, and one of my first inspirations was I was in high school and I wanted to do something, and I really was struggling because I wanted to do something that was convenient for me and I have some control over, and I feel like I want to make an impact in the community, doing something that people didn't do before, and my idea was to do the Little Free Library. I went to this organization, and this organization, they supported me, and I was able to get me my service learning diploma from high school. So I've been doing it. A lot of it is on my own. I've been talking to people. I've been trying to recruit uh, people and get someone to get a new, new organization to work with. So there have been a lot of holders to, to deal, deal, deal with. How many books did you have there total? Total, like, we built a little free library before, and like, uh, way back in the very, very beginning, and that was like, have, I don't know, 20 books or something, but right now, my cousins, they collected, like, I don't know, I, I had to guess 15 books, because I can't remember the exact numbers, but for right now, I try to get my cousins to get at least 
uh, 10 bolts for each one. Where did where does your cousin get the books from? Uh, my cousin get get it from her house, and I try to get um try to get her to go to like her her, 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 her school, like James Town Middle School, to get some more books. But now nah, hopefully she can provide the books we need. I also go do donate some of my own books as well. Do you have a specific age group for the books or? Uh, they for anyone. They for any age. Like I said, we try to get books for different group age groups. So yeah. What's the name, like, what do y'all call them? All right, we gonna call them Little Community Libraries. They're another name called Little Free Libraries, but, you know, if you use the Little Free Library, because it, I think it trademark or something, you have to pay, like, a, a license to pay, to get, a, to get one name that way, and that costs a bit, a bit of money, so we just gonna call it Little Community Libraries. Little Community Libraries? Yes. Okay. What came, what made y'all come up with the name of it? Oh, uh, we going, it just uh, something that people call them. Someone said call it Little Community Library, and I, I don't want to call it Little Free Library because you have to pay a fee to your organization to use that name. So we're going to call it uh, Little Community Library. And a way to get around the fee. How do you, like, make sure nobody steals the box? Oh, dang it. People have been, we just hope that people are just not, not going to be bad people. Because some people say lock it or something, but I don't want to do that. And it just be, I don't know no best way to prevent some, something like, like that to happen unless you put it inside the park, but they go lock it anyway. So it just we want to make it convenient for people to use and easiest. But, you know, they pros and cons to everything. Do you pick, take people on a tour? Like, is there different sections? Sections with the little community library, it's this big box that, and where there's like, where people, it kind of like just one big box. There's a window inside of it, but there's not like different parts to it that people have to open the door to to get into the box. Can people like put books into the other boxes? Uh, they can put a book inside of it. Like it's just a box with a, a circle on top of it and a window in the middle of it so yeah it's just a box you can just put books inside of it and there wouldn't be any um, problems so, uh, it's like, so it's like take one and get one free kind of yes um do you think that you want to go like global with this we i want to go global with this it just I'm uh, definitely want to build more of them and just get them mo get more done. I just need to find find the right partners and everything. And my cousins, they was at the there was a um, contest and they was tell one of the judges because one of our libraries were one of the, was at the contest to make one of these things at the send them to Sudan and stuff. And but my cousins, they kind of they was arguing with the judges because they were saying stuff like. People in Sudan can't read, and then my judges will argue with them. And one of them said that Sudan was in Sweden. <laughs> I'm not making this up. I don't know what my teachers are t teaching. I don't know why our teachers can't teach our kids right. Or something like that. They were saying that Sudan was in Germany or Sweden or something. <laughs> we don't want to teach them about Africa so badly. <laughs> Like what they say, do that because like they're gonna start talking about it. We we try to. This is the reason why we need these little, little free libraries so people can read books and actually be educated. Because <laughs> we definitely want to educate these kids <laughs> and <laughs> teach them about the world and how they work. I know Africa was in Egypt, but like no, but they, half they, of they my life. This African country was in Europe, <laughs> and how how did it end up like this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! People no, no. don't know how to teach 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 about <laughs> Africa. How do, how do people like paint them? Do they like go to like a building that y'all yeah. have? Now we've been trying to go to different places and do workshops and, and stuff. Also, we've been trying to talk to different organizations. We went to like the Bulletin Maker Fair to paint, and we've been going to the different organizations. 
and trying to get them to help us out so we can do more workshops doing doing stuff like this. Like, is there always is there always like every other time you have special events? Yeah, I want to do events for for kids to paint because right now we try to build some more of these things in the fall and winter. Then we go back and paint do do some more painting in the spring and summertime. And I really want to do something like have a regular schedule and just we try to find the right partners. But I feel like. These kids, they just love painting it. They just, I when I was at the Bulletin Maker Fair, like kids were asking to paint these things. And and some kids, their parents, they want to let them paint it because of, and I'll be trying to make sure that these kids can have a fun opportunity to help the community and express their creativity. So can they paint it any way they want or do y'all have like specific standards or? I can, they can paint whatever they want. I sub, I kind of add stuff to it because sometimes they would kind of just paint like blobs or something. So sometimes you add, had to add some things to make it into like animal or something. So because sometimes when they paint blobs, sometimes you just want to put uh, pr pr pretty it up a bit. The book series, just just like just for kids. Uh, they can be for kids. Some some of it can be up for adults. We just making sure that they can be for any age range that come in. But they're gonna be a lot, lot of kid books inside of, of those, these boxes. Do you ever put think about putting the the boxes inside like office buildings and stuff? Uh, we we might do do that, but right now we focusing on building in parks and uh, you know uh, other places like churches and stuff. Here, we trying to at least get there to be in public places outside. We might do inside places, but it just depends on what they tell us and what the circumstances are and stuff. Do you always like reading? Like, do you always, is reading like your favorite subject? Yeah, reading is my favorite subject. I just know so much from reading and just like information and stuff. And these little few libraries, it's just that one, one thing that I like about them, because even if you fall away from the library, you can still use one of these things. And I just felt like, I just like books and stuff. So how many like, I like, and reading is my favorite subject, and I just feel like this these boxes can help people read more. Do you make money off of this? Uh, no, not right now. Some people be saying you should start a business doing this and sell these to homes and stuff, and that possibility. But you no, know, there's just a lot of things you have to come up with a business plan. You have to come up with a budget. You have to come up with prices, and we're not focusing on, on that right now because. There are a lot of work you have to do to start your own business doing something like this. And you have to come up with a lot of different uh, you know, strategies and planning that ha get involved. And that's just not that kind of, kind of work I'm not focused on, on doing right now. Well, thank you for um, watching this video. Thank you, Derek, for coming. Okay. Um, please give a thumbs up, thumbs up, subscribe, and tell all your family and friends. Thank you. Bye. Bye.